Before we begin our episode, we want to address the coronavirus crisis. It is in the forefront of each day now, and we walk through uncertain territory. It's easy to live in fear. It's understandable that we have these feelings. During the coming weeks, we'd like to provide some additional contemplative resources for you to use if they can be of help. We'll be producing and publishing some recorded meditations available to you any time of the day or night. Please visit the Glory Day website and click on the coronavirus update page. Blessings to you. Welcome to Looking Within, a podcast for the spiritual explorer in each of us. I'm Julie. I love to explore the inner life using contemplative practices, and I love to help others to do the same. In our time together, I hope you gain a sense of hope, meaning, joy, and love. As a Christian spiritual explorer, I hope to offer some thoughts to help you see God's presence and activity in ever-expanding ways. As you listen, ponder, and experience the divine, feel free to use the spiritual perspective you are most comfortable with in our practice today. Now, let's begin. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this final week of the season of Lent and our Lent experience. We continue to move through Holy Week, walking alongside Jesus as we remember the events that occurred during the final days prior to his crucifixion. As we mentioned in our Monday episode, having remembered Palm Sunday and Jesus' entry into Jerusalem this past weekend, we'll now watch Jesus in the upper room as he shares a final evening and meal with his disciples, followed quickly by his arrest, trial, and crucifixion on Good Friday. Tomorrow is Monday, Thursday. On Thursday evening, Jesus and his disciples gathered in the upper room to eat a final meal together. It was a meal that Jesus longed to have with those deeply loved friends who had been by his side during his three years of ministry. It was during that evening that he washed the disciples' feet, broke bread with them, and said, Take and eat, the first sharing of the bread and wine that we call Holy Communion, or the Lord's Supper. In Henry Nouwen's Life of the Beloved's chapter on being given, Nouwen comments about how much he likes the expression, breaking bread together because there we can see the joining of two of the four words that we've looked at during Lent, the breaking, or brokenness, and the giving. Now in comments that when we eat together, we are vulnerable to one another. There is an intimacy of eating and drinking together. The table, the food, the drinks, the words, the stories, all of these combine to create an intimate space. For now on, our desire to eat together is an expression of our even deeper desire to be food for one another, to give ourselves to each other as a source of physical, emotional, and spiritual growth. Jesus' final meal with his disciples seems filled with his desire to share in this way with his dear friends. For our moments of quiet today, I'll ask you to remember Jesus' frequent invitations of follow me. This week, we are invited to follow Jesus to the upper room, to that meal of bread and wine. With your eyes closed now, picture that room, darkened, intimate, Food and drink set out on a table around which dear friends have gathered for conversation, support, care, and love. Picture yourself at the table with Jesus and the disciples. 
What's that like for you to be with Jesus, surrounded by love? Perhaps you visualize Jesus getting up from the table to wash the feet of those who have gathered, and he comes to you first. And when he blesses the bread and breaks it and blesses the wine, he looks straight at you with eyes of love. The horrors of the next few days for Jesus have not yet happened. For tonight, it is a gathering of beloved friends who are chosen and blessed by Jesus himself. And you are one of those friends. Take in this scene in the upper room. As we pay attention, we are transformed. I'll be back with you in about three minutes. As we end our meditation, take a few deep breaths in and out, in and out. You are the beloved, the chosen one of God, blessed, broken, and given to the world around you. I'll sound the Tibetan singing bowl, and when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes, remaining still for a moment longer.
We move soon into the heart of Holy Week, into the three days of Monday Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Vigil on Saturday. May the intimate setting of the upper room be a personal metaphor for you of the space reserved for intimate, vulnerable, and loving communion with Jesus. May these final days of Holy Week reassure you of God's great love for you. I'll see you on Friday. It will be Good Friday and our final time to gather for our Lent experience. I'll see you then. Thank you for making time for your inner self today. Whatever you've discovered and experienced, carry that with you in the coming days. You can find more episodes at our website, gloria-day, that's D-E-I, dot com, slash looking within podcast, or subscribe through your favorite podcast app. We'll see you next time.